Hi, Rudy Martin here. I'm editor of Emerging Market Winners. Emerging market nations from China to Brazil and Turkey are winning upgrades or positive outlooks on their sovereign debt ratings, highlighting the relative strength of developing economies versus advanced nations such as Greece and Japan, which have soaring debt burdens. Recently, Fitch Ratings upgraded Indonesia's debt to a positive outlook. It moves that country closer to an attaining an investment grade rating its first since the Asian financial crisis more than a decade ago. The upgrade would put Indonesia on par with Brazil and India. In Latin America, seven countries, Brazil, Colombia, the Dominican Republic, Panama, Peru, Suriname, and Uruguay all have positive outlooks from Fitch. And the agency expects sovereign credit trends to remain positive in Latin America in 2011 because the region's credit cycle is underpinned by continued economic growth. At a time when many investors are concerned about sovereign risk in emerging markets and our media is filled with visions of regime change, it's very refreshing to see that most of Latin America is economically, socially, and politically stable. This is just another sign that this is the golden decade for investing in Latin America. Obviously, there are risks to the region's new positive outlook, but most of those risks are external. Money managers are concerned about the threat of an oil shutoff in Libya and possible weakness in U.S. and Chinese demand. Slower growth in the world's largest economies would mean lower commodity prices, which could derail improvements in Latin America. And even fear itself can be a problem. Fitch says that a sharp rise in risk aversion, possibly due to the European debt crisis, could also undermine capital flows to Latin America. I agree with Fitch's assessment of Latin America. And I've been saying for a while now that the region deserves higher credit grades. My only question is, why did it take so long for them to figure it out? That's my take on it. Happy trading.